I'm at Buffalo Wild Wings on Barrett Parkway in Marietta, Georgia. I put myself in the cold place, dark maze. And we're gonna check out the smoked brisket burger. We're gonna do it in the COVID-19 safe way. They bring the food out to you, you order it on the phone, and you actually don't even have to touch anybody. We are a COVID-19 safe channel. It comes as a basket, you get the brisket sandwich, and an order of french fries. We've got our food. I'm gonna move to another end of the parking lot. These guys aren't really crazy about me shooting this video, and especially not right in front of their front door. So, let's get on with this video. We've got our food, we're parked, ready to go. It hasn't been more than two or three minutes. It comes with the red safety seal, so you know it's safe. I have a personalized condiment bag. Joe, they forgot the hungry part, but I'll forgive him this time. Get that. We got a big cardboard box. We can see what it looks like. Let's do the Joe temperature test. All right, this thing is 132 degrees Fahrenheit. I can feel the heat radiating off the french fries. Next thing we want to do is the Joe weight test. I'm going to weigh the sandwich just for reference purposes. Let's very carefully put this sandwich on the scales. This thing weighs in at exactly 13 ounces. That's a pretty good sized sandwich. This is what it looks like, and this is what it's supposed to look like. This is what it looks like, this is what it's supposed to look like. You definitely need napkins for this one. There's a lot of barbecue sauce. The hamburgers look very well cooked. The hamburger patties kind of smashed like Culver's does. Yeah, it kind of hangs out and gets a little crisp around the side. I really do like that. That is really nice. It's also got American cheese, smoky adobo sauce. Hopefully that's not too spicy. It's made with pulled pork brisket, bacon aioli, chahula bun. It's kind of an egg bread bun. It's kind of a dense thing. I like it. It holds the sandwich up well. And of course, it comes with natural cut french fries and this whole thing will set you back $14.99 before taxes. Let me check the french fries out. I like their french fries. They're very well seasoned. Actually, a little spicy. I can taste just a slight amount of burn on the end of my tongue. They're kind of shoestring french fries. They're a little small, but they serve the purpose. We've seen how much it weighs. We know how much it costs. It's time to engage in the Joe bite test. I am hungry. This looks just absolutely killer good. And Joe bite test, engage. Definitely a sandwich in the eighth. I just have to figure out where it goes. It is perfectly cooked as I knew it would be. It has the right amount of cheese. The pickles are the sour dill pickles slices that I like. The barbecue sauce and the barbecue works really well with the two burgers. This thing is a mouthful of meat, no question. For burgers and a fry, I think they could have thrown in a drink. You can taste the tangy sauce and the grilled onions. The American cheese kind of levels it all out. The barbecue sauce is a sweet barbecue sauce like I like. The only criticism I have is the heat from the adobo sauce tends to cover up the barbecue sauce taste and mask the sandwich. I think it would have been better off without it. I'm not really sure why they didn't offer this as a combo with a drink. It would have been nice to have a drink because if you get a drink, you're gonna be getting right up near 20 bucks for a small meal. Fortunately, I brought my can of Diet Coke. They were pretty apprehensive about me shooting around there. Everybody's running scared around here because of the virus. I'm not gonna let the virus worry or scare me. If not for the adobo sauce, this thing would score a little bit higher. I'm gonna have to go with an 8.1. I'm gonna call this a review. If you found this interesting, if you found this useful, subscribe to the channel, support the channel, and we will see you in the next video. I put myself in the cold place, dark maze, just smoking dust in my face. Now I'm scared of death, can you catch my